This is We Vision, and I'm Dan Hutchison. Everybody's heard of conflict diamonds, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Conflict materials are much more insidious, and they're hidden in many of the products we buy, and it's very difficult for manufacturers to actually identify them, much less eliminate them out of their, their processes. So Intel actually has taken the lead by removing them from a lot of their products, actually they removed them from all their products, and uh, it's been quite a detective story. So my guest, Jackie Sturm of Intel, has really been at the eye of this storm, and we're going to have a conversation about what it takes to get them out of your uh, supply chain. Jackie, welcome to the program. Thank you, Dan. Pleasure to be here. So what are conflict materials? Why don't we just get that out of past us? Um, conflict minerals have a fairly specific definition, and what they are are the tantalum, tin, tungsten, and gold that are mined in the Democratic Republic of the Congo um, under conditions of slave labor or human uh, abuses and atrocities due to armed rebel militia who are extracting the profits from this mining by that enslaved population. Now a lot of these uh, people may think that you could just stop using them but these are essential materials, yes. right? So. Um, what was it, you, you started this in what, 09? Yeah, about five years ago. And so what was it that kind of prompted you to, to move in this direction? Well, um, back in 2009, a uh, few people from the NGO, the Enough Project, um, came NGO is a? NGO is a non-governmental organization okay. frequently comprised of activists who are concerned about issues that they see mm -hmm. in uh, companies or in social policy, for example. And so this activist group, the Enough Project, came to us at Intel to inform us about these conflict minerals. It was relatively unknown to us, and they wanted to share with us some of the issues that were being faced by residents in the Congo, uh, people who were being abused by the armed militia uh, in order to generate the profits that they um, could create by selling into the electronics industry. And when Enough came to us, they gave us a lot of education about this situation. And our management looked at the situation and said, at Intel, we want to be a great global citizen. And our responsibility to people doesn't begin and end in our own facilities, but it extends throughout our entire supply chain, even if it is as far away as the miners who provide the minerals that go into our products. So we uh, learned about the situation. We uh, informed ourselves about some of the challenges, and we said, this is not okay. It's not right, and we want to do something about it. 